Hi, I am Nick D. Clements, and I'm a, I'm a little bummed today. My favorite kitchen utensil broke. A creature must have got it or something. Best I can tell, it's called a spatula fork, and I really can't find too many of them online. They seem to be kind of an obscure tool, but it's absolutely my favorite. I love using it for all sorts of things, doing stir fries, mixing and pressing ground beef, and it's just a great shape. I really love the design, it's simple. It's an IKEA product, and I think we got it as a gift with a bunch of other similarly made tools like these tongs and this spoon, and you can actually still get these tongs and spoons and spatulas on their site, but not the spatula fork, which is a real bummer. Funnily enough, it shows up in a bunch of stock photos, so I could buy a high quality picture of it, but not the actual fork itself. Now you might look at it and say, well, what's wrong? It looks fine. Well, I tried to fix it, but as you know, most glues don't work that well on plastics, and I just super glued this on, and while that might hold to make it look good, it's not gonna hold for function. I could maybe try and drill a hole through and like insert a wire or something, or try and find a glue that will stick, but probably any glue that might actually work might not be that food safe and you probably wouldn't want to be cooking with it, so, so if fixing it's out of the question and I can't buy it again, then I guess the only option is to make it. I have a cheap spatula here from Walmart. It's pretty much the same size, has even almost the same curvature, the handle's a bit bigger, but I figure I can just cut out that spatula fork shape from the existing spatula and see how that works. Should be pretty easy. As a final step, I just wanna try and add some of that curve that the original fork has in it to the new one. And I'm just gonna do that by heating it up with a heat gun and then bending it slightly. Well, I am super excited with how well this turned out. I think it's a great recreation of my broken spatula fork. I love how easy it was to do. This plastic cut like butter on the bandsaw and getting it to the final shape took no time at all. I think this is a great method for making your own custom kitchen utensils from existing ones. So I guess the only thing left to do is just to put it through its paces. Well, this thing is working great. Absolutely just as good as the original. 
So this is really great. I don't have to worry about if some weird creature gets a hold of it again and destroys it. I can just cut out a new one, so that's awesome. So remember, if you can't fix it, and you can't buy it, make it! No, that's, that's not the new tagline. My sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nicky Clements. If you're wondering, make it short for Nicholas, and the D stands for Dakota. Anyway, I'm off to finish making my breakfast. They're really good uh, breakfast burritos, so I, I might do a video on them one day.